everyone. Welcome. Today it is raining in Byron Bay and I am getting full whiplash from the difference of weather. Hot, cold, raining, I don't know. But today we are doing a gentle flow which kind of suits the energy that I'm feeling right now and clearly you've clicked on this video so the energy that maybe you're feeling that you need to drop into a place of stillness, have a little bit of movement but only to really nurture you and to essentially bring energy back into the body. So that's what we'll be doing with this practice today, a gentle flow. So we're going to start by finding a comfortable seat. But like I often say, if you want to lie down, if you want to take any other shape, then please do. But I always like to find a seat so I can really feel the alignment and find center. And for me, center is my heart. So wherever you choose to be, make those last couple of adjustments and subtle movements before you close the eyes. And just feeling the breath being received in the belly. And you might even like to place one hand onto the belly to just bring that awareness, to feel the breath being received deep in the belly. Just as a little reminder to slow down, just as a little reminder to actually feel your breath and to really receive the nourishment through the breath. As it's full and deep. And then keeping the hand on the belly, bring one hand to the heart. And just notice what happens when you place your palm onto the heart. Maybe the sensitivity, the tenderness that's here. And I often say it, but really coming from this place of just holding whatever is present. With softness, with gentleness with love. And feeling the rise and fall of the breath underneath now both hands, the belly, the heart. And if you can feel you need to stay with your own rhythm, then stay. Otherwise, we'll take a breath into the belly for three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Breathing into the belly side ribs, pause, exhale for four, three, two, one. Breathing into the belly, side ribs, front of heart, pause, Exhale, four, three, two, one. Breathing in, belly, side ribs, front of heart, back of heart. Exhale, four, three, 
two, one. Breathing in, in, in. Feeling the breath make you expansive. Pausing at the top of the inhale. And slow, steady exhale all the way to empty. And just going at your own pace now, breathing into both hands, filling up slow with the in-breath. And going slow with the out-breath. You might even want to lengthen the count. And find a subtle ujjayi. So with the lips closed, breathing out of the nose and just listening to that sound of the breath, the gentle hush of the exhale. And let it be your anchor to bring you deeper into this moment, the full experience of now. And just slowing everything down for this sacred pause. And just notice what's underneath all of the worries, underneath the busyness, the rushing. Now when we stop and we really feel, this is where we can gain insight, this is where the real beauty and the real wealth is. Hmm. Your essence. And either you can stay like this or you can take the hand that's on the belly, bring it to the heart. And we'll open this gentle practice with one sound of Om. But if you prefer to just simply sit and receive, then you can just simply sit and receive. Take a big breath in. Om. Long out breath, gentle bow. And then gently releasing the hands, blinking open the eyes. Hmm. So we'll come off the seat. Now you can have two blocks here for this practice, but it's not essential. You can not use the blocks. And you can also have a strap or a towel. So please grab a strap or a towel now. And we'll start to shift the weight forward and take a tabletop position. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Press down into the left palm, send the right arm up towards the sky. Take a big breath in. And then thread the right arm across the body. So the right shoulder head comes down, right ear down. Now either you can stay or walk the left fingertips forwards, tuck the right toes under, either stay here or maybe extend the left leg out towards the left. So the weight will go a little bit more towards the right, but instead of rolling all the way to the right, keep pressing the right shoulder head down. 
and keep turning the rib cage up towards the sky and seeing if you can press the left heel down. Now, if you can feel this is too much, you can always release that left knee back down. You don't have to take the full opening with that left leg extended. But wherever you are, take a big inhale in. Long breath out. And again, smooth inhale. Long exhale. And take the in breath. Slide the left hand back in on the out breath. Release the left knee back down. Press into the left palm and release the right arm straight up, straight up. So turning the rib cage towards the right. And then right hand down, we switch sides. So right palm grounds, left arm up, breathe in. Left arm, thread it through on the breath out, cross the chest, left shoulder down, left ear down. Either you can stay or extend the right leg out. Heel comes down and then walking the right fingertips forwards. So you're pressing down into the outside edge of that right foot. But again, don't worry if this is too much of an opening. So you'll get the inner groin here as well. You can always drop that left knee down. So right knee down. <laughs> and again, it might feel like a big turning of the rib cage and it might feel like you're rolling over towards the left. Keep resisting and pressing down into that left shoulder. Right fingertips keep reaching forwards as the right sit bone moves back. Big breath in. Long breath out. One more inhale. Long exhale. Then breathing in, releasing the right hand back down, release the right knee down, press into the palm, slowly releasing the left arm. Wah. Left arm goes straight up towards the sky and then left hand down. Bring the knees out wide, big toes to touch, and then start to walk the fingertips back, back so the bum comes down towards the heels. Now, if you need more support here, you can bring a pillow or a bolster between the legs if the sit bones don't quite touch the heels. And then we'll walk the fingertips back, back, and you might already feel the quadriceps here, even as you're sitting. So if that is the case, then stay. Otherwise, fingertips come behind. Keep walking back. You might stay here or press down into the shins, little lift with the hips. Think sit bones towards the backs of the knees and then lower the pelvis back down. You might keep walking the hands back. Maybe the forearms come down to the mat. We press down into the shins and think about pressing the hip points forwards towards the ceiling. Keep rolling the shoulder heads back. Take a big breath in. Long breath out. Those of you who want to go all the way down, you can. Smooth inhale. Long exhale. So breathing in to the belly, side ribs, front of heart, back of heart. And then long exhale. Again, connecting to the hush of the out breath. One more breath in, long breath out. Then press down into the hands, come all the way back up, peeling yourself up. And then walking the hands forwards, come into downward facing dog, bring the knees a little closer in, spread the fingers wide, palms ground down. So tucking the toes under, we want to think soft knees as we press the chest back towards the thighs. So ears alongside the biceps, super straight arms. If you're hypermobile, you want as little soft bend in the elbows and hug the thumbs in like me. Knees nice and soft. Then we'll come up onto the balls of the feet, take an inhale. Bend the right knee deeply, lower the left heel to the mat on the exhale. Then coming up high, balls of the feet, breathe in. 
Switch it, bend the left knee, lower the right heel down on the breath out. Coming up, coming up high, balls of the feet, inhale. Bend both knees as you exhale. Now hollow out through the armpits, hollow out through the belly. As you press your chest back a little bit more, you're gonna feel it into the shoulders, maybe. Keep pressing into the palms. And then look forwards between the thumbs, tiptoe all the way to the top of the mat. You have to bend your knees as much as you need. You can come up onto the fingertips if you have short little arms like me. Hands to shins, halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold breath out. Soften the knees, press into the feet. Roll your spine all the way up to standing. Arms heavy, heels ground, rolling up. Head comes up last. Bring the shoulders up towards the ears, take a big breath in. Melt the shoulders down the back on the breath out. Arms up overhead, inhale. Grabbing the right wrist, little lean over towards the left as you exhale, pressing down into the right foot. Back to center, breathe in. Grab a hold of the left wrist, lean to the right on the breath out. Back to center, inhale. Soften the knees, forward fold as you exhale. Hands to shins, halfway lift, breathing in, long spine. Bring the hands back down on the breath out, lightly step the right foot back. And you can double up on the mat here for more cushioning, we drop the right knee down. Heel toe the left foot wide, so it's outside of the left hand. You might want to come up onto your blocks here, or no blocks, you choose. Take an inhale, lift your chest, look forwards. Then keep the length in the spine, but soften the elbows as you exhale. Get a little deeper into the hips. And then back up, big breath in. Elbows bend, fold in, breath out. Back up, inhale. Fold in, exhale. Back up, breathe in. Left hand to the left thigh, turn the rib cage towards the left on the breath out. Now either you stay here or bend the back knee, grab a hold of the right foot with the left hand. Keep rolling the left shoulder head back. Kick back with the right shin as you twist the rib cage even more. Big inhaling. Slow breath out. One more in breath. Gently release the right foot on the out breath. Heel toe the left foot back to center. You can use your two blocks here if you need. We'll walk the hands back, back as we straighten out through the left leg. Pressing into the ball of the foot, you can keep the softness in the knee. Big breath in. Soften the elbows, fold breath out. And again, flat back, inhale. Fold in, exhale. Once more, flat back, breathe in, fold breath out. Flat back, inhale, bend the left knee as you exhale, plant the palms down. We pick the right knee off the mat, step the left foot back. Shift the weight forwards to the fingertips, inhale, bend the elbows, you can drop the knees down, lower all the way to the belly as you exhale. Then from here, extend the right arm out towards the right. Either the right arm stays long or bend the elbow so the hand is in line with the elbow. Then roll onto the right shoulder, rolling and stacking the hips. Either you bend both knees, stacking the knees and lower the right ear down. Or if you want more, keep the right leg extended, bend the left knee, take the left hand and grab hold of the left foot. Maybe. Pressing that left hip point towards the left. Heel in towards the glute. But if you feel the knee or low back here, then just simply release, bend both knees and stack them. Then really press down into the right palm, press down into the right forearm. Slow inhale. Smooth exhale. And then extend the legs, release, roll back onto the belly and we'll switch sides. 
So extending the left arm out to the left, maybe bend the elbow, hand in line. Stacking the knees, left ear comes down. Again, either you can stay or left leg extends, bend the right knee, grab a hold of the right foot with the right hand. Heel comes towards the glute, pressing that right hip point forwards. This is actually quite a lot, <laughs> quite intense, so you can always release the right foot whenever you need and then restack the knees. And one more breath in. Slow breath out. And then gently slide the legs back, roll back onto the belly, hands either side of the chest, tuck the toes under, press back to child's pose. Take a moment here if you need. And then downward facing dog. Pick the knees off the mats and the sit bones high. Come up high onto the balls of the feet, inhale. Deeply bend the knees as you hollow out through the armpits on the exhale. Look between the thumbs and then again tiptoe all the way to the top. Halfway lift to lengthen, big breath in. So lengthen all the way from the crown to the sit bones. And then exhale, softness in the knees as you fold. And again, halfway lift, big breath in. Fold, long breath out. Press into the feet, roll the spine up, arms heavy, heels ground as you roll up. Shoulders up towards the ears, inhale. Melt the shoulders down the back, exhale. Arms up overhead, big breath in. We grab the left wrist, lean to the right on the breath out. I'm going to do a bigger lean this time as I ground into the left foot. Back to center, inhale. Grab the right wrist, lean to the left, a little bit more of a lean as I press into the right foot. Back to center, breathe in. Forward fold, soften the knees on the breath out. Halfway lift to lengthen, inhale. Left foot steps back. Again, you can double up on the mat, cushion underneath the knee if you need. Lower the back knee down. Heel toe the right foot wide. Again, you can grab your blocks here or stay up onto the fingertips. Big breath in into the heart. Soften the elbows as you fold on the breath out. Back up, inhale. Fold, exhale. Back up, breathe in. Long breath out. Back up, inhale. Take the right hand to the right thigh. Roll the right shoulder head back. Turn the rib cage to the right. You either stay here or bend the back knee. Grab a hold of the left foot with the left hand. We press back through the shin. Keep rolling that right shoulder head back. Big breath in. Slow breath out. One more inhale. Gently release the back foot as you exhale. We'll heel toe the right foot into center. Again, you can use your blocks here, blocks either side of the foot. We walk our hands back, back as we straighten out through the right leg. Press into the ball of the foot, keep the right knee soft. Flat back as you lengthen on the inhale. Soften the elbows on the exhale. Twice more like that, flat back breathing. Fold the breath out. Flat back, inhale. Fold in, exhale. Flat back, breathe in. Deep bend into the front knee on the breath out. Plant the palms down. We pick the left knee off the mat on the in breath. Step back, right foot back on the out breath. Shift the weight forwards, inhale. Drop the knees down, chaturanga to the belly as you exhale. Press the feet down, roll the shoulders, little cobra pose as you lift the heart on the in breath. Exhale, lower down, tuck the toes under, child pose. Sit bones back to the heels on the out breath. 
And from here, lift the gaze. And then walk the hands in towards the knees. Grab a hold of your strap or towel. Release the tops of the feet down. Bring the bum to the heels. And then take the hands either shoulder distance apart or a little wider with the strap. Bring the arms up overhead. Take a breath in. Soften the elbows as you send the heart forwards, but send the arm bones back on the breath out. Big inhale. Long exhale. Imagine like you're pulling the hands apart. Now, I love this one so much. I stay here for a little while. Sometimes I like to kind of just move from one side to the other side. But I keep my elbows soft the whole time, so I'm not locking out. Ooh. And this is called like kind of flossing the shoulders in a sense. So as you lean from side to side, you might work the shoulder heads a little bit further back. I'm gonna take about three more deep breaths here. Stillness might be more juicy for you. And last breath in. Long breath out. And take the inhale. Release the arms as you exhale. And then move the strap out of the way. Bring the bum down to one side. Send the legs forwards. And we'll come down onto our backs. We're going to take pigeon pose on our backs. So little rocks from side to side. And we'll cross the right ankle on top of the left thigh. Now here, you can keep the right hand to the right knee, left hand to the right foot, or you can start to thread the right arm through the right leg, either grabbing a hold of the left shin or grabbing a hold of the left hamstring. So you choose. I'm going to pick hamstring today because my hips are really, really tight. So you want to find length through the spine. So notice if your neck is kind of going in extension of your chin is lifting up and you're feeling a back bend in the upper back, then still find length. So you might have to just release and bring the hand back to the knee if you need. So length through the spine, tailbone, lengthening towards the front of the mat. And three deep breaths here. Expanding, more opening with every inhale. And again, slow, long exhale. So again, this practice is all about just slowing down, embracing the pause. No need to rush. We can't really receive the full juice of life when we're completely just <laughs> rushing around the whole time. I've learned that. All right, releasing the right leg when you feel ready and we'll switch it straight away. Left ankle on top of the right thigh, either left hand to the left knee, right hand to the left foot, or you thread the left arm under, maybe to grab the hamstring or maybe to grab the shin. Whoa, I'm tighter on this side. Grabbing hold of the hamstring. Again, we find length in the spine, length in through the crown, chin gently draws in, shoulder heads roll back, and really use the resistance of the ankle to thigh to press that left knee more forwards. And then deep, even, smooth breath. Mm, last breath in. Slow breath out. 
And then releasing the legs, hug the knees into the chest, bring the knees out a little wider. Those who want to take a happy baby, you can take that now, little rocks. And then we'll release into a twist. So let go of the feet, drop the feet slightly down with the knees together. Hips move towards the left and drop the knees down towards the right. Left shoulder head grounds. Take a big breath in. And then turn your gaze over towards the left on the breath out. We're not going to be here for too long, just two deep breaths. And then back to center with the knees as you breathe in. And again, feet lower down just for a moment to move the hips over towards the right and lower the knees down to the left. Right shoulder head grounds. Take a big breath in. Turn the gaze over towards the right on the breath out. Big full inhale. Slow, long exhale. And then bringing the knees back to center on the breath in. And then you can take any other shape that you feel you need to take before stillness. I'm just going to do gentle rocks on my low back because that feels really nice. And then I'm going to extend my legs long for Shavasana. But if you prefer to take your meditation seat, then you can do that as well. And I'm going to bring one hand onto the belly, one hand to my heart again. And just feel back into the fullness of the inhale, breathing into the belly, breathing into the heart. And instead of a strong ujjayi on the exhale, I just let the out breath go, but still listen to the subtlety of the out breath, however soft. And I start to let go of the physical body dropping deeper and deeper into rest, allowing the practice to be the gateway in. And you may choose to lie here for some time. You may choose to get up and take your meditation seat and sit in meditation for some time. Whatever you need to do, in order to really honor the sacred pause for you. This is your opportunity to fully dive in. And thank you for practicing with me today, yogis. Namaste.